we already discussed that in space mechanics this year there are three questions out of which there is one one mark question and one two marks question so this is first question for one mark and this is msq question let us understand this question they are asking us to find what is the variation of absolute deceleration with altitude for a space vehicle which is undergoing a re-entry into the its atmosphere okay so see we got three options from the students let me draw this one so this is h and this is deceleration dv by dt and uh, we got one option like this and we got one option like this and we got one option like this c dv by dt and this is h see directly we can eliminate these two options we don't have the fourth option but according to us this is the right answer i will explain you why this is right answer see directly we can eliminate these two options see in space we know that density is very very less compared to the its atmosphere density right so when a body is entering from low density area to density area it cannot be directly decelerating like this directly dropping dv by dt like this okay or it it is not even possible that it will increase like this okay so according to us this is the right answer see a vehicle when it is re-entering from the space it takes some time here it takes some time to enter into the denser layers of the atmosphere we have the layers here right so when a vehicle is re-entering from space takes time to enter into this denser layers of the atmosphere so deceleration starts gradually like this so deceleration starts gradually like this and it reaches a maximum value so this is the maximum value okay it reaches a maximum value then it drops slow slowly so according to us this option is the correct answer but by seeing these two graphs directly we can say that we can directly eliminate these two options and we don't know what is the fourth option but according to us this option is the right answer i explained you why when a vehicle is re-entering from space, it takes some time to enter into these denser layers. Okay. So it takes some time here and reaches some maximum value and it starts slowly dropping now. Okay. So this is the right option for this question. Now let's go for the next question. See, so this is a very simple question. They are asking us to find what is the escape velocity and this is asked for two marks and this is NAT question, numerical answer type question, okay. So they have given us what is the universal gravitational constant here. They have given us the mass of the planet and they have given us the radius of the planet. Now we need to find what is the escape velocity. So we know that escape, velo escape, escape. So we know that escape velocity formula that is under root of 2 g m by r. So when we substitute all these values here, we get escape velocity that is equal to 2 into 6.67 into 10 to the power of minus 11 into the mass of the planet is given that is 6.4169 into 10 to the power of 23. Okay. So this is 3390 into 10 to the power of 3 meters. So we get escape velocity equal to 5024.701 meter per second. And they are asking this question in kilometer per second. So this answer will be equal to 5.02 kilometer per second. So this is a very simple question that is asked for two marks. So this is gifting two marks for the aspirants. Now let us go for the next question.
Now let us understand this question. A satellite is in a circular orbit. A satellite is in a circular orbit around earth with a time period of 90 minutes. So time period is given. Radius of earth is given. Mass of earth is given. So this is kg. And uh, universal gravitation constant is given. 6.67 into 10 to the power of minus 11. They are asking us to find what is the altitude of the satellite above main sea level in kilometers. Again, this question is asked for two marks and this is NIT question. So we all know that what is time period? Time period equal to 2 pi under root of Re plus H whole cube divided by G M E. Okay. So this is nothing but see we have we need to find what is this H value altitude of the satellite. So how to calculate if we simplify this equation we can find this H value right. So here T is given that is 90 minutes but we have to convert this into seconds because we have G here in which we have Newton. So this if we convert into seconds this will be 90 into 60 which is equal to 5400 seconds and uh, radius of earth is given that is 6370 into 10 to the power of 3 meters. So we have all the values here. So we need to simplify this equation first. So if we square this equation on both sides, this is t square 4 pi square re plus h whole cube divided by g m e. Okay. So this will be t square g m e divided by 4 pi square which is equal to re plus h whole cube. So this equation will be g m e t square divided by 4 pi square 1 by 3 which is equal to re plus h. Now we need to find this h value. So h equal to g m e t square by 4 pi square minus r. So now if, if we substitute this value, so here it is power 1 by 3. If we substitute all the values in this, we will get the altitude of the satellite here. Okay. So let's solve this. So h equal to, we know that g value is 6.67 into 10 to the power of minus 11 into mass of earth is 5.98 into 10 to the power of 24 into 5400 times square. So this will be square whole power 1 by 3 divided by 4 pi square minus what is the radius of earth 6370 into 10 to the power of 3. So this value will be equal to 284.03 kilometer. Okay. So this is the solution for this particular question. Even we can simplify this question like this. We already know that G. See we know that G equal to G m by R square. Right. So acceleration due to gravity is gm by r square. So g r square equal to capital G m. So we can replace this gm by g r square also. Again, you will get the same answer similar to this like 280 in the range. 280 to 285 we are expecting the range. Okay. So you will get the same answer. But anyway, here the values are given g and m e. So let us substitute the same values here. Okay. Even you can solve this question by taking gm as r g r square okay so you will get the same answer so this is all about space mechanics and our take on space mechanics is very simple this year easy five marks are given okay so i have explained these three questions in detail and if you feel that this video is helping you please share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel for more regular videos thank you